Additionally, gram stains release sticky proteins from bacterial cell surface to adhere bacterial cell to slide by preparing bacterial smear and fix smear through heat to slide to kill and prevent bacteria from washing out during gram staining, as mentioned in next slides. Therefore, bacterial smear must be 2 to 3 cm in size and should not be too thick or too thin. Furthermore, gram positive stain stick to bacterial specimen to give color. Meanwhile, gram negative stain settle around bacterial specimen boundaries, as mentioned in next slides. Hence, in gram-positive stain, bacteria stain with blue to purple color, and in gram-negative stain, bacteria stain with pink to red color, as mentioned in side slide and next slides. Steps of gram staining are abbreviated into nine points. 1. Prepare bacterial smear. 2. Flood smear with crystal violet. For two minutes. 3. Wash slide with distilled water. 4. Cover slide with gram iodine. For one minute. 5. Decolorize slide with 95% ethanol. For 15 seconds. 6. Wash slide again with distilled water. 7. Flood smear with saffronine stain as counter stain, for 2 minutes, 8, wash slide again with distilled water, 9, dry slide with toilet paper, to examine slide under light microscope, at 100 magnification object lens, using, immersion oil, as mentioned in next slides. Finally, during work with gram stains, if you don't see anything, it mean, you didn't heat fix properly, leading that, bacteria washed off. Meanwhile, if you see everything in purple under light microscope, it mean, you didn't, decolorize enough, but, if everything pink, it mean, you decolorize too much. Thanks for attention, please like and share and subscribe Genetic Teacher videos and channel.